Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here back again um, with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today we're going to talk about Marcus Rashford uh, returning and the impact that's going to have Manchester United going forward. Remember, guys, if you're new to the channel, to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United, smash the notification button for latest Manchester news and more. And make sure you check out my second channel, Red Marvel. I'm posting a lot of content on there as well. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, um, Obviously, Marcus Rashford is back in training. Um, it was it was actually playing in a, a uh, I think there was a behind closed doors game against Blackburn. He scored two goals. I'm um, in this hard school here from the Metro. Actually, Dean Henderson says that Marcus Rashford is back to his best, which I think is very very um, um, good to hear because I, I've said for a while that Marcus Rashford has been injured for the last what you know twelve to eighteen months. And if we can get like peak prime Marcus Rashford back, I think that that is going to be a big, big boost to Manchester United going forward. And so in Ole Gunnar, it'd be like, please the cliche, um, a new signing. So Marcus Rashford back after fully recovering from an operation on his shoulder. That's according to Manchester team Dean Henderson, who says the forward was carrying a few knocks as he was unable to play to his full potential. He opted for surgery, obviously, after the European Championship Club along with the shoulder issue. Um during the second half, which was obviously because Mark, let's be real, Rashford was 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 not great um, for large periods last season, and we can see why. Um, so he says here, you know, you know what? It's funny because he looks so sharp since he's come back from a shoulder injury and everything from last season. Henderson told ManUnite.com, I think he was carrying a few knocks. So if everyone's come back, he looks back to his best. I'm really excited to see him out. I think he's going to help the team a lot. And I agree. I do think that Marcus Rashford is going to help um, the team a lot. Um, but I think this is this is and this is where I think the, the subject of this video and we'll probably I'll probably post a video or maybe have just this live discussion about the best United team going forward or the best United living now that Marcus Vasher is back because this creates a problem. I don't think people realize this actually does create a problem because Marcus well, one thing, Marcus Vasher when he's fit will always start for Oli. Always. He's one of Oli's untroppable players, along with looks like Shaw, um, um uh, Bruno Fernandes and Harry Maguire when he's fit. Those are Manchester United. Those are Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's on-job repairs. The British contingent of Shaw, Maguire, Marcus Rashford, and okay, you can include Bruno. Those guys wouldn't be dropped. Um, Rashford is in that as well. Um, so, and last season, what did happen um, to almost fit the uh, likes of Cavani and, and a certain extent Marshall and, and Pogba on the left of the team was that you shifted Rashford out right. So you'd have Pogba on the left, Cavani up top, and then Rashford, Rashford on the right. That's what he did a lot last season. Rashford played as a right winger and interchange of Greenwood. But we brought Jaden Sancho now. Um, so that can't happen. Um, Rashford has to play on the left. And so this makes an interesting uh, in situation for Paul Pogba because you're going to have to play Rashford on the left. You can't play Rashford on the right and have Greenwood and Sancho on the bench. That just can't happen. So you're going to have to play one of um, Green or Sancho on the right. It could be Green, it could be Sancho, and Marcus Rush will play on the left, probably sharing that role with Anthony Martial. Who looks like he's picked up a knock. Um, so and obviously, and now you have Cavani, and uh, so you have, now have uh, Ronaldo. So essentially, what I'm saying is you now have two more attack forwards in the likes of Ronaldo and Sancho now coming to this team, and Rashford is now back. You know, so this poor Pogba. You know, the whole Paul Pogba on the left thing, I just don't think it's going to happen anymore. And so you're going to have to, if you're going to start Paul Pogba, you're going to start him in the midfield. And this, I think this is a bit fun. I know this is Rashford. I'm really glad to see Rashford come back. So I really think it's going to be a boost to Manchester United. I'm looking forward to seeing how how he contributes to the team, especially um, who are championing the games that we need all the players that we can get. But I do think this will have an interesting knock on effect on Paul Pogba because where does Paul Pogba fit? You know, he can't keep on dropping Ronaldo. He can't, he's not going to drop Rashford. You know, so where does Paul Pogba fit? Does Paul Pogba come back into the midfield? If Paul Pogba comes into the midfield, you're going to have to drop one of McTominay or Fred. That's what you're going to have to do. Or, you know, do you play McTominay and Fred and, and do you drop Pogba to the bench? And if that's the case, well, Pogba basically is going. Pogba, you know, I don't see Ole Gunnar Solskjaer doing that. He might drop Pogba occasionally, but, you know, but usually he brings them on, etc. So, you know, I think this is quite interesting. So if everyone complaining about the midfield issue, this is going to be a very interesting circumstance where with Rashford being back, I just don't see how Rash, uh, how Oli can um, squash Pogba onto the left because he's going to have to drop one of Sancho and Greenwood. Um, and if he's going to put Pogba into the midfield, he's going to have to drop one of McTominay and Fred. So are you going to see a Scott McTominay? And is this why maybe 
Um, we're seeing hearing more reports of Scott McTominay being trained in quote to play the pivot role uh, better um, because Ollie knows that he's gonna have to bring Pogba into midfield and then play Rashford with Rashford coming back. Who knows? Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Are you glad to see Rashford back? What does this mean for Paul Pogba? Make sure you check out my other video about Paul Pogba um, potentially signing a new contract. If you're new to the channel, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitch and X. Smash the notification button for latest United news and more. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.